Welcome to the Introduction to the Principles and Practice of Clinical Research, otherwise known as IPPCR, of course. The presentation will be by me, Dr. Ann Zychek, and Dr. Lisa Cordes. Introduction to the course directors. These are the people who have been directing the course that you're taking. Uh, me, uh, Ann Zychek, I'm a pediatrician and a PharmD. Hi, I'm Lisa Cordes. I'm an oncology clinical pharmacy specialist and educator. Laura Lee Johnson, PhD, is a statistician at the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, and Dr. John Gallen, uh, now retired, also a course co-director. He is an internist, infectious disease specialist, and the originator of this course. The purpose of the course is to provide the theory and practical aspects of designing and performing safe and ethical clinical research. The content of the IPPCR course is divided into modules. Module one is introduction to clinical research. Module two, conceptualizing the clinical trial protocol. Module three, inclusion and selection of study participants. Module four, writing the protocol and protocol implementation. Module five, safety review and monitoring. Module six, data quality and results reporting. And module seven, supplemental information. Details about the IPPCR course can be found on our NIH homepage. The landing page here um, has a description of the course, which includes our four course objectives. And we also see that there are short bios of our course, course directors on this page. The course information tab here, um, you can learn about the course and you can learn that the course is available online completely free of charge. The course consists of about 40 lectures from world renowned faculty. And following the lectures, a final exam is available to those receiving a passing score. Um, they will receive a certificate of completion. Important dates and deadlines can also be found here along with the course syllabus. And information about the textbook can also be found here at the bottom of this tab. And scrolling back up to the top, the registration tab provides a link to be able to set up a username and password for the course portal. And the course portal is where you can find all of our lectures, our learning materials, and also our final exam. Now that you've learned more about the course and are ready to log in, um, we can highlight the resources that can be found within the course portal. After logging into the portal, you will be brought to this course homepage. Here you will find a number of helpful resources, including the IPPCR glossary, and this includes a number of common abbreviations and acronyms that are used in clinical research and statistics. There are also links at the bottom of this page um, to glossaries such as the one from clinicaltrials.gov. And going back to the course homepage here at the top, you'll find other resources on the homepage, including free protocol templates. We have links to multiple different templates here, including the NIH e-protocol writing tool, which provides two different templates. One is for phase two and three studies, and one is focused on behavioral and social science research. And going back to, again to the course homepage, there's also a link here to the budget template. This is an Excel spreadsheet that breaks down protocol cost considerations, so it can be a really useful tool. The modules and lecture tab here at the top is where you found all of the lecture videos and handouts. A list of the modules for the whole course can be found on the left side, as you can see, we currently have five modules for this current course here, but they're ever-changing and that list is growing. So you might see this expand to further modules as the years continue. You can even use the navigation bar here at the top to be able to search for a specific topic. Um, for example, if you wanna search for data management, you can click that in there and hit search. And that'll bring you to the lectures that apply to that specific topic. So when you click on that specific topic, that brings you to that lecture page. And here you can see all of the video clips and you will be able to access the lecture documents such as the handouts for the lecture on the right side here. You can also view the discussion board from here. As you can see here, there's a link on the right side. Another way to view the discussion board is here at the top navigation pane. There are multiple discussion boards available, one for every single lecture. Um, and here um, you can also find some frequently asked questions here on the left and also some technical issues. 
And then after you review all the lectures and you're ready to take the final examination, that can be found through this top navigation bar under final exam. You can also find it again under the course homepage where you can click on go to the final exam. And when you click on that, you will see um, very important deadlines for the exam um, and also directions for taking the exam, which are provided on this page. We're also very interested in your feedback. The course evaluation tab here allows you to share your thoughts about the course, including a section on, with open-ended feedback on the strengths and areas of improvement. And we really do read each and every comment that our participants provide to us, and we do our best to improve the course each year based on participant feedback. And so with that, that concludes the highlights of our course portal, and I'll turn it back over to Dr. Zaitek. We hope you will gain an understanding of the principles involved in the ethical, legal, and regulatory issues in clinical human subjects research, including the role of the institutional review boards, biostatistical and epidemiologic methods involved in conducting clinical research, data collection and monitoring of patient-oriented research, and the infrastructure required to perform clinical research. Welcome to IPPCR. <laughs>